earning my pro card, then the only thing on my mind is just to make it as a pro because this is where you can start making money if you do good. So, uh, but like a lot of people uh, told me also, try not to get too big, you know, try to come in shape, you know, this is the most important thing. But everybody who turns pro wants to, you know, stand next to the big guys and, you know, who wants to look small next to these guys. So everybody basically is doing the same, uh, the same mistake, is trying to come in too big and sacrifice in shape, which I did at the uh, Night of Champions. But I must say, actually, I was in good shape, but I kind of messed it up the last couple of days before the show, which is like lack of knowledge and uh, probably the flight too late. So I messed up at the Night of Champions. And then uh, this is what told me, to look here, if you want to do this thing right, you know, this is your last chance. So if you mess up the first show, the pro show, this is no problem because everybody can do it like have rookie mistakes. But so the next show, you got to prove to everybody that you are what you what they thought you were. So uh, then, you know, if you mess up again at the Ironman or the Arnold, this is probably it. So I just went back to basics, and basically that's what I'm still doing. Is said heavyweights, uh, um, less sets and less reps, and just to you know, and my, once I died, I trained pretty much trained the same. I probably dropped some weight because you know you don't have to strength, but I just add the cardio and change my diet. Basically, that's all I do. Now, at going to the Ironman, uh, I was not invited to the Arnold to do the Arnold, and I uh, hated it very much because that, that was my dream to do the Arnold Classic. So, but before I left uh, the Thailand for the U.S. to do the Ironman, I had an agreement with um, Jim Norma that who says that if I make top six at the Ironman, I'll get an, uh, an invite for the Arnold. So my, so I basically, I left here thinking Arnold because I knew I was going to make top six. Because I always think like that, otherwise I can't, you know, train the way I should train. So I always set myself a high goal just to make sure I'm motivated enough to do my training. Now, every, actually everything went good in the States. And then uh, again, I must say I kind of messed it up the night before the Ironman. And I ended up placed a seven. I carp overloaded. That's what I did. The mistake that I did, I carp overloaded, and uh, I should have backed off carbs on Friday, which I didn't do, and that kind of messed me up, and I spilled over, and I was holding a little water for the prejudging. I was okay at the, in the evening show, but the prejudging, I was holding a little water. That kind of threw me back. And uh, But I'm just glad that I had Milos in my corner, because Milos kept you know, kept hyping me up and said, don't worry. And uh, I was still hoping to get a special invite for the Arnold because even Jim Manning backstage said, because you still beat almost everybody who was also invited for the Arnold. We're going to have to see if we can get you to the Arnold. So basically I waited till uh, Tuesday, the following Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I left for the Arnold on Wednesday. And on Tuesday I got the call. Actually, I talked to Jim. I called Jim Lorimer on Tuesday morning, and uh, Jim told me on the phone that um, it's too late. He already had his 16 competitors, and his, the agree agreement was top seven at uh, top six, which I didn't do. So he can't do nothing at the moment. But he's look. But he will have me on the show next year, which will be the 2001 Arnold Classic. And uh, so I hung up the phone, and I was like, I was sitting there, damn near crying. I tell you the truth, because I. Right after the Ironman, I, I still thought, yeah, I'm going to get this special invite. So I stayed off carbs, you know, just like, you know, and then Jim told me no. And I know he's the main man. If he says no, that means no. So I didn't know what to do. I was a mess, you know, and then Milos called me. And Milos told me straight, I was like, look here, you don't never say no, or you don't never say you don't compete unless the show is over. The show is Saturday, and if you just tell everybody, you buy your own ticket, you pay for your hotel, just let me compete. And this is what I did. I called Jim Mannion. I just let everybody know, Peter McGuff, Chris Lunt, because I did the photo shoots with Chris at this time, and Chris Lunt already knew what I looked like. So I must say, Peter kind of also helped me out. Peter, Jim Mannion. Peter called Jim Lorimer and uh, told them that uh, if I compete, 
he will promise him I'll make top five. <laughs> and then Peter called me back, and then Jemanuel called me back and said, okay, you got a special email. That was Tuesday afternoon. And I was like, I don't believe this, you know. Me and Milos, we like party. <laughs> this was like, you know, because I was going to do the Arnold Classic, the Arnold number. I was like, because Arnold always said, don't never give up. If you, if I had, I would, I would buy myself a ticket. I would buy myself a ticket. And uh, and I was just I would just walk backstage. I was just please just let me pose, you know. So they called me and they said, okay, you get the special invite tonight. They gave me a number to call for the ticket, and uh, and then Milos was so happy too. And they said, then this time we'll do it different. We'll make sure you come in shredded. And so he told me what to do the last three days. Actually, he told me what to do the whole six weeks out, you know, and. Uh, but he just wanted to make sure that I'm real, really hard, and that, that that's what everybody was looking for at the Arnold, at the Ironman, that I would bring that package at the Arnold, which I did. I dropped, I think, like three to four pounds, and I came in in shape, and I placed fourth, which I think is, I mean, that was even better than winning the USA, because having like Flex, Chris Cormier, and Kevin Lebron ahead of you. It really is no shame, and that's when really, it sounds so good being fourth behind Care Flex, Chris, and Kevin. I mean, this is the top three bodybuilders, other than uh, and Ronnie, in this world right now. So I had the top three in front of me, and that means that I'm fourth, and that means that uh, you know, even that, even though a lot of people said that uh, that I was supposed to be third, that I was better than fourth, and I can't take nothing away from Kevin because Kevin was my idol. He made me start bodybuilding. So, uh, you know, then I hear a lot of you. This is probably always going to be like that, that some people will tell you, yeah, you look better than him, you should be, you know, placed higher. But uh, I'm going to leave that up to the judges, you know. The only thing that I can do is I can control myself and make sure I'm in shape because basically what the judges want to see is that you come in better. They want to see you doing something that, you, you know, you get the job done. And if you come in and improve, then they should award you for that. So basically, we can't do nothing. It's all up to the judges. I'm just happy that I qualified for the Olympia because I remember in '95, I said to myself, in the year 2000, I will compete at the Mr. Olympia. And this is my year. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm four weeks out getting ready for the Mr. Olympia. And basically, I'm just happy to qualify for the Olympia because now I finally get a chance to stand on stage with the best bodybuilders on this, on this planet which this is, this is the biggest show, this is the best guys. And uh, I already competed against guys like Flex, uh, Chris, Kevin. Now now I finally get a chance to compete guys against guys like Ronnie, Sean, uh, NASA, and everybody else. So um, basically that's like a dream come true for me. And uh, what I want to do is just let this, let, the, let everybody know and, and, and let the judges see that uh, I train hard for this show, and I'm here, and I'm here to stay. I'm not here just, you know, just to show up, you know, and maybe place out of the top ten, and then you never hear from me again. I'll let everybody know that I'm here, and I'm here to stay.
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, two more, 11, and 12. One, two, three, yeah, now, now it's good. Come on, good. Come on. Come on. 